So I'm um, speaking of the hot tracks, you got aside from um, Bad Girl, you got tracks like um, Making Change, which was co-written with um, Troy Taylor, which is about um, like like the importance of not taking life for granted, and and also like um, a meaning wrote Goddess, which is um, about believing in oneself and having you know continuously the world drive and focus to achieve. Okay. And, and you also got um, rock a which is like more fun records. So we're looking at three totally, completely different records right there. Like, so you got different subject matters. How do you go about creating music? Like, do you just go with the flow? Do you go about it strategically? Like, yeah, usually, uh, usually I hear the music first. I hear the beat, and then I just vibe to it. Yeah, whatever I feel. And it's not really that we sit together and say let's yeah. do this or something. We just one, one comes up with an idea and then we work off of that idea most of the time. So it's, it's not always, it's always how you feel. I mean that Make a Change song, Sophie was a part of the idea, she came up with it. And you know, it was the time of when the tsunami had happened two years ago or how long was it? I don't know. But um, yeah, she came up with that and then you know, we, we just all started writing together and that's how it usually goes, you know, somebody has an idea and you know, Sometimes she writes by herself, I write by myself, but most of the time we write together. You know, that's how we... Because you get stuck. Yeah. Yeah. I have, like, I, I do, like, a verse or a hook, and then I'm, like, I don't know anymore, and then I give it to her. I think she's better in ver writing verses, I'm better in writing hooks. <laughs> So aside from um, you know what you specialize in, how would you describe your overall style and what separates you from other R&B acts? I think um, other R&B acts from the U.S. Definitely, first of all, we're from here. We're from Europe, so we we are different already. Like we are also going pop. Like you know, we're not just the R&B hip hop. We're not those ghetto girls, you know. Like the song Make It Change. I don't think, I don't, I can't think of a girl group, another girl group that would think that, like, I don't know. It's, it's something. I don't know how to describe, but it's... And then the next thing, I, I think, because we're sisters, you know, that is, I think you can see that and feel that, you know, when, when you see the group, that it's a different, um, we have a harmony, you know, between us that would other people wouldn't have like girl groups that you know just be thrown together you know you don't have that but yeah and i think the sound is just you know different in the look <laughs> um, so the deal came about you met a certain guy in new york he introduced you to a couple of people one one thing led to another and then you actually had an audition for jay-z and l.a Reed. how was that that must be uh, Exciting, the most exciting. Like first, we just sang for Ellery and like six other, like the top people on Def Jam, and that was like the most exciting for me ever. Cause I had to sing the lead on that day, and we had to sing two or three songs. And it was a the one of them was a slow ballad, and it was really really hard to sing, and I had to sing the lead, and I was so excited. I'm usually not really that excited when it comes to singing, like we sang for everybody in New York, like whoever we met, New York, I think. whoever we met though, like we would just sing and it would be no problem. But that day, cause like we had always been trying to meet somebody like L.A. Reid, and then the day came and I like kind of not did a great job. I did a good job, and <laughs> he saw that. <laughs> See the money on the table. <laughs> yeah, our producer was mad because the first time I kind of like you know not did it. Well, we all were nervous. L.A. Reid, I think he saw that I was holding back, and he told me, "Please, can you do the same song again? But this time you would right. Or you really, really can do it because I know you can do it." And then I did it much better. And I think he saw the talent, so he kind of. <laughs> so uh, what did Russell Simmons come into the picture prior to, to the meeting? He the came edition? a little later. Once we got signed to Def Jam, you know, L.A. Reid signed us first. Then, like, a few weeks later, we went, you know, Tony Austin, the, the president of RSMG, Russell Simmons Music Group, he brought us over to meet Russell. But it was like, we didn't even know we was going to meet him. We, he just took us to the, to the office, and we didn't know Russell was going to be there. So we were just in regular clothes, you know, not dressed up, nothing done. And we just came there, and... Russell was in there and we were like, oh. <laughs> but he was so, he was so, you know, down to earth and so normal that, you know, 
it felt like we we know like family. Him. Yeah. Yeah. It was like we had known him always, and he had known him forever, and he just you know he, it was like already done, done deal. He didn't even like he we sang for him too, but you know he. It wasn't like, like an it wasn't like an audition. It wasn't like an audition. Like we right. had to prove him. He already knew. You know he wanted us. Cause he heard the song. And